talking basic geometrical ideas. So in this chapter we are going to learn some basic geometrical shapes. So first one is points. Point is nothing that is a simple dot. Point is a dot only, right? So but what is the use of the point? What is the use of the point? A point determines a location. It is usually denoted by the capital letter. It is usually denoted by the capital letter. Suppose we want to plot the locations in our Indian map or political map, anyone. Suppose we want to use or plot the locations, we can use by the dot. So the point determines a location. Point determines a location. It is usually denoted by a capital letter, right? Let's see what is line segment. What is line segment? So consider these two points. So point A and what is that point B? We know what is point, right? So we can consider this point A and B. How to join these two points? We can join these two points many ways. So we can join this point as like this. Right? So another method, how to join this point? We can join this point like this way also. So next one method is we can draw this point like as a straight line. So we can join these two points have many methods, but what is the difference? So the difference is the distance only the difference for this line. So this line is the shortest distance between these two points. This straight line is the shortest distance between two points. So a line segment corresponds to the shortest distance between the two points. It is denoted by Yen's line segment. So Yen is the line and the symbol represents the line segment. So what is line segment? A line segment represents the shortest distance between two points. So next one is line. So we know what is line segment. Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. What is line? So we can choose this line segment A. So we know this is a line segment A. And so this line segment increases. This line segment extends extendable both sides. So this line segment extended on both sides, which is called here both sides infinitely, which is called here line. A line segment extended to both sides infinitely is called what is that line. See, a line is obtained when a line segment extended on both sides infinitely. Extended on both sides infinitely, it is denoted by a B line. So line segment is denoted by what is that? A B. Line segment is denoted by this A B line segment. And line is represented by A B this line symbol, right? So it is denoted by A B line or sometimes a line, sometimes a single small letter like L. Sometimes this line is used by the small letter L. So this is called line L or we can say this line A B, right? So what is line? A line is obtained when a line segment extends on both sides infinitely. It is denoted by a b line or sometimes by a single small letter. What is that? L. Next one is ray. So we can start this point A. We know, we know this is a point. So this point starting from A and goes endlessly in one direction. So this is called a ray a b. So a ray is a portion of a line. A ray is a portion of a line. It starts one point. It starts one point and it goes endlessly in a direction. Which goes endlessly in any one direction. It can go right side or left side, any one direction. So we denote it by how to write this? A B and this symbol represented by ray. So this is called A B ray. What is that? A ray is a portion of your line. It is starts one point and goes endlessly in a direction. So this is called a ray A B. So we know what is point and what is point? Point is here. So point determines a location. What is line segment? Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line segment is the shortest distance between these two points. And the shortest distance, the line segment extends on both sides infinitely is called what is that line. And the ray is a portion which starts one point and goes endlessly in a direction. Right? So next one is what is that intersecting line. Next one, what is that intersecting line? So we can draw this line L1. We choose this line as L1 and another line is what is that? L2. So L1 is one line and L2 is the another line. So it can meet any one direction. So it can meet any one point. So this point is called the P. That means the point of intersection. See, if two lines have one point common, if two lines have one common point, they are called the intersecting lines. Here, two lines have the common point is only one. Two lines have only one common point. This is called what is that? 
intersecting line. Here we can say L1 is the intersecting to L2. If two lines have one common point, they are called what is that intersecting line, right? What is parallel line? Parallel line means two lines in a plane are said to be parallel. Two lines in a plane are said to be parallel lines if they do not take intersect. So we write this two line, what is that? First line is L1. And second line we can say what is that? L2. So first line is L1 and second line is L2. So it can be any point. So it can be any point of these two lines. So consider this rulers. We can choose the uh, top line is line L1 and this below bottom line is line L2. So this is the example for the parallel line. The ruler is the example for the parallel line. What is that? Two lines in a plane are said to be parallel lines if they do not intersect. If they do not intersect, that means if they do not reach any one point. So we write L1 is parallel to L2. This symbol is represented by what is that? Parallel. L1 is we write L1 is parallel to L2. What is intersecting lines? Intersecting line means the two lines meeting at any one common point is called intersecting lines. If two lines do not meet any one point is called what is that? Parallel line. Next, see this chart. Line segment, line intersecting line, and what is parallel lines? So we already discussed what is line. Line, line is the shortest distance between two points. Line is the shortest distance between two points. So this is called line AB. How to write this? So we can write this one as line segment. Line segment AB. That means the shortest distance between these two points is called the what is that? Line segment. And which is denoted by the line segment AB. Next one, what is line? So a line segment extends on both the sides. AB is the line segment which extends on both sides infinity is called what is that line. So line is represented by AB this line symbol, right? So so this is called AB line segment and second one is called what is that AB is a line. What is next one intersecting line? Intersecting line means two lines meeting at a one point. If two lines meeting at any one common point, this two line is called what is that? Intersecting line. Here, L1 is intersecting to what is that? L2. Line L, so line L is intersecting to line M. And what is B? The point B is the point of intersection. That means, which is the top point of intersection. Next, what is parallel line? Parallel line means the two lines which do not meet any one point. So, two lines do not meet any one point. It's called parallel lines. Here, line L1 is what is that? Parallel to line L2. Line L1 is parallel to L2. This is represented by the parallel line symbol. What is first one? Line segment is the shortest distance between two points. Line is a line segment extended by both directions endlessly. What is intersecting lines? Two lines intersect. That means two lines meet at any one point is called intersecting line. And this point P is called the point of intersection. What is parallel lines? Parallel line means these two lines which do not meet any one point. Any one point. So which is called line L1 is parallel to line L2. So now let us go to see our exercise 4.1. First question, what is that? Use the figure to name. Use the figure. So use the given figure to name what is that? Five points. A line. We want to write five points. A line. Four rays. What are the five line segments? First one is what is the five points? So solution. Here you see. What are the points here? Point determines. You know what is that? Point is a simple dot, right? What are the points here? B. First point is B, what is the next one? C. Next one, D, E. B, C, D, E. And what is the other point? That is the center, that means the intersecting point, O. Right? So, B, C, D, E, O are five points. What is B question? B one, a line. We want to draw a line. What is the line is here? C. D, B is one line. So, D, B is a line. Any other line is here? Like O, B. So, O, B is a line. What is next one? E, B. So, E to B. E, B is also a line. That means, E, B is a line segment and which is extended both sides endlessly. So, E, B is a line. What is next one? Next one line. D, E. So, D is also a line, right? 
So this is what the next one. What is next one? Next is three questions. Four days. You want to write what is that? Four days. What is mean by days? The days is the day has you know only starting times and goes endlessly in a direction. What is three? Four days. What are the first days here? Yeah? So see this point O. So O to B is a day. O B is a day. What is the symbol for day? So this is we can write. O B day. So which is starting point only? It has no end points. So O B day. What is next one? O E. O E is our day. What is next one? O D. O D is our day. What is this? E D. So E D. So this is also we have days. Four days we need to find. So O B is a day. Suppose we can write O B. This line means O B is a O B line segment. We can apply this symbol to this starting point is O and goes endlessly in direction D. So O B is a day. What is next one? O E is also a day. Next O D, which is also increasing to one direction. Next E D. So starting point is E and D increasing to one direction. So this is four days. What is next one? D. So we want to find five line segments. What are the line segments? We can choose this point is also a line segment. What is that? Suppose O B is a we can write O B is a way, but start the point O to B is not what is that line segment. So this is called O B line segment. What is next line segment? E O. E O is also line segment. What is next one? Distance between D E. D E is a line segment. Any other? C O. C O or O C two also same. C O is a line segment. Any other next one? D. D two O. Yes. D O. So it has five line segments. How to find that? First one five lines. Five lines means we can write in five dots. Next one what is that? Line. Uh, lines. We can write four. Uh, how many uh, lines we can draw? Means we can write the lines. So next C one. Four lines. Lines means we have the starting points and one more point goes to endlessly. Lines. Last one what is that? Five line segments. Five line segments it means line segment is the shortest distance between two lines. Line segment which has starting point and ending points. So we can write these five line segments uh, for our complete story, right? Next up, second question. Name the line given in all possible ways. Name the line given in all possible ways, choosing only two letters at a time from the four given from the four given letters. What is the solution? Name the line given in all possible ways. So what are the lines given in the figures? So first thing I write A B. So A B line. So we can write the line A to B. What is this one? A to C. A B, A C. Next we can write. First we can write A to B. Next A to C. Third one A to D. So we can write A to B. So this is line A B. What is this one? Next we can start from B. What is that? B A line. So line B A. B A. What is this one? B A. Next B to C. Next B to D. B C. And B to D. Next one is that. Next we can start from C. So we can write C to A, C to B, C to D. What is that? C A. Line C A. Line C B. Line C D. So what is next condition? We can start from D. Start from D means we can move D A then D B then D C. What are the D A is a line. Next D B is a line. What is next one? D C is a line. So name the given name the line given in all possible ways. Choosing any two letters at a time from the four given ways. How many lines are possible here? We have four lines. We have four lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven up to twelve. We have four lines are possible for this four given letters for this line, right? Line contain 
lines which, which lines contain point E. So the line AE is contain point E. AE is a line. Line containing point E. We can write AE. So AE is a line which contains point E. Otherwise we can write FE is also a line. Next B is also a line which contains point E. We can choose any one line, right? So a line containing point E. What is B using? B1, line passing through A. Passing through A means what is the where is the point A? So a line, which line is passing through A? So this line AE is passing through the A. This line AE is passing through the point A. So what is that? AE. So we can write this point B A A B also. A B is a line which is passing through the point A. So A B. You can write any one line, right? Next what is that? Line on which bold lies. Where is the point O? So O, which lines lie? Which lines the point O lies in this line? What is that? C O or B O? Can think. What is that? We can write what is that? C O line. Line C O which contains line C O which contains the point. What is that? O. Next one. Two pairs of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines means two lines meeting at any one common point. What are the pair of two pairs? Pairs of intersecting lines. Which is one pair? So C O. C O and the line A E is intersecting. Line A E. A E. So a line A E and the line C O is an intersecting line. Line A E and C O. What is another pair? The next pair is line A E and E O. Line A E. So a line A E. And the P, this is also an intersecting line. So how to find this? First one is a line containing point E. We can write a line which is the line containing point E. That is AE. Next one, line passing through A. Which line is passing through A? So AB is passing through A. Next AB, AE. We can write any one line. A line passing through the point A. Next one, C. A line on which O lies. A line. So this line C O it has lies at the point O. A line on which O lies. What is that? C O. Next pair of intersecting lines. Two pairs of intersecting lines. Here C O and A E is an intersecting line. Next A E and A P is also what is that? Intersecting lines. Next up, fourth question. How many lines can pass through one given point? How many lines can pass through one given point? Next one, two given points. So see, we can choose this point. How many lines can pass through the given points? So this is a line. So we can choose this method. So this like that. So how many lines this can pass? So how many lines can pass through one given point? We can pass countless number of points. That means infinite number of points. What is that? Countless. One given point. How many lines can pass through one given point? What is that? Countless number of lines. What is the equation? Two given points. So you have two distinct points, A and B. So how many lines it can pass? It can pass only one line. So it can pass only one line in a given two points. So one point is given means it can pass countless number of lines. Suppose we have given two given points, two distinct points means it can pass through only one line. So only one line. What is first one? How many lines can pass through one given line? It can pass through countless number of lines. How many lines can pass through given points? What is that? Only one line. So next one, fifth question. Draw a rough figure and label it suitably in each of the following cases. In our fifth question, draw a rough figure and label it suitably in each of the following cases. What is the first case? Point P lies on line segment AB. So first one, we can draw a line segment AB. So AB is a line segment. Point P lies on AB. So this line segment which contains what is the point P? So first one, point P lies on what is that? AB. What is the second condition? 
line x y and line d u intersect at point m. Line x y and d u intersect at point m. So first we draw the line x y. X y. And what is this line? Line x y and d u. X y and d u intersect at the point. What is that? M. That means m is the point of intersection. Line x y and d u intersect at the point M. What is c position? Third one. Line l containing e and m. Line l containing e and m, but not d. So we can draw the line l. So this is a line l, which contains what is that? Line l containing point e and m. So this line l containing point e and m, but not d. But not d means this line. The point D is not lying on the line L. So first there are one line L containing point D and L, but not D. What is the fourth case? So line OB and O OQ meet at O. Line OB and O Q meet at the point O. So this is line OQ. Line OQ. What is next one line? O P. So line OP, line OP and the line OQ meet at O. Here is a line OP and next one is a line OQ which lines meet at the point. What is that? O. You know what is that? First one is point P lies at AB. Point P lies at the line segment AB. Next line x y and d u intersect at the point m. This much as we can draw this line. Let's see what a line l containing the point e and l, but it is not containing the point d. D questions what is that line o q and the line o p meet at the point what is that o. So next concept what is the so previously we can discuss what is point line segment line and what is the rail intersecting lines and what is next one parallel line. Next we can go to see what is curve. So what is a curve? Any drawing straight or not straight? Any drawing straight or not straight done without lifting the pencil. So without lifting the pencils, we can draw these pictures. We can draw this line without lifting the pencils. Any drawing straight or not straight done without lifting the pencils may call it a curve. In this sense, a line is also a curve. So, line is also we can draw without without lifting the pencils. So, I can draw this line without lifting the chalk piece. So, this is a curve. This two line is also a curve. So, in general, in generally, what is that line is not a curve, but in mathematically, a line segment is also a curve because of this condition. Any drawing, any drawing done without lifting the pencils may be a curve. In this sense, a line is also a curve. What is next one? Simple term. What is simple term? So first one is a term because we can draw this line without lifting the pencil. This is also a term. We can draw this line without lifting the pencil. So what is the difference between these two? If simple term, if a curve does not cross itself, if a curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple term. So first two figures. This curve is does not cross itself. We can this is a starting point and O which is an ending point which does not cross any lines. So this is called a simple curve. And second one, these two lines are intersecting in a point. That means these two lines are cross up in this point. So this is not a simple curve. What is a simple curve? If a curve does not cross itself, if a curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple curve. Otherwise, it is not a simple curve. Next concept is what is polygon? What is polygon? A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure. We know what is a simple curve, right? A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure. Simple closed figure made of entirety of line segment. A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure made up of entirety of line segment. So this is a simple closed figure. So first to a square. Square is a simple curve because this line. Do not intersect any points. So all the four lines do not intersect any point. 
So this is a simple person figure. And this uh, all the sides are closed. So this is a simple person figure. Square, triangle and quadrilateral. Anyone says. The figure is a formula. If it is a simple closed figure made up of only what is the line segment. See, a circle is also a simple closed figure. Circle is a simple figure because which is given to me at any point. Which is given to me at any point. Circle is a simple closed figure but this is not a polygon because the polygon is made up of a type of line segment only. So this is a curve segment only and another piece of this is a line segment. So a circle is not a polygon. So what is a polygon? A figure is a polygon if it is a simple closed figure made up of a type of line segment. So next let us discuss what is sides, vertices and the diagonals of the polygon. We know what is a polygon? Polygon is a simple closed figure made up of a type of line segment. So a rectangle is also a polygon. See the first condition. And this line AB, BC, CD and DA. These are all the sides of the polygon. And this line A, B, C, D are the vertices of the polygon. The line A is called the vertex, B is another one of the vertex. A, B, C and D are the vertices. Vertices is the plural form of vertex, right? So A, B, C and D is the what is the point and this A, B, B, C, C, D and D are the what is the lines, so, size. Size, vertices and diagonal. First one, the line segment forming a polygon or polygon size. A line segment, a line segment forming a polygon. What is polygon? It is a simple closed figure. A line segment forming a polygon or polygon size. So what are the sizes here? A, B is one side, B, C. CD and DA is the four sides. What is this one? The meeting point of the pair of sides is called vertex. So AB is one side and BC is one side. So these two pairs of lines meeting at the point what is that? B. So B is called the vertex of the point. So next one, here AB is your lines and AD is the line. These two pairs of lines AB and AD meeting at the point A. So A is called the vertex of this point. What is that? The meeting point of the pair of sides find out the pair of sides is called what is that? Vertex. Next, any two sides with a common end point, any two sides with a common end point are called the adjacent sides of the polygon. So, these two lines have the common point A. These two lines, AB and AD is called the common point, what is that? A. Any two lines have the common point is called this, what is that? Adjacent sides. So, the line AB and AD are what is that? Adjacent sides. Next, fourth rule. The end points of the same side of the polygon. The end points of the same side of the polygon. Which is the same side of the polygon? AB is the one side. What is the end point is here? AB. The end point of the same side of the polygon are called what is the adjacent side vertices. So A and B is the adjacent vertices. Next B and C is also adjacent vertices. C and D is an adjacent vertices. And A and D is a pair of adjacent vertices. What is adjacent vertices? The end points of the same side of your polygon are called the adjacent vertices. So what we discuss here? Sides. What is the sides? The line segment forming the polygons. So we all this line segment is called the what is the sides of this polygon. What is the vertex? Vertex is the part. Vertex means the meeting point of the pair of sides. So the meeting point of the pair of sides is called vertex. And what is adjacent vertices? Adjacent sides. Any two sides with their common points. So these two sides have the common point A. This is called what is that? Adjacent, but adjacent vertices. What is adjacent sides? What is adjacent vertices? A line segment, same size of the line segment having two end points is called what is that? Adjacent vertices. So these two lines is called adjacent sides, and these two vertices is called what is that? Adjacent vertices. So we learn what is sides, vertex, and adjacent sides and adjacent vertices. So next to our exercise 4.2. So in our exercise 4.1, you will do your four sum as your fifth to sixth pattern, right? Next to our exercise 4.2, do your first sum as your form as second one. Draw a rectangle to illustrate the following. Draw a rectangle to illustrate the following. So first one, what is that? Open curve. So this is a open curve we know because this curve is not a closed, right? What is being used? Closed curve. So close the curve means we can draw a triangle, pentagon, square, rectangle, any one, right? Draw a rectangle to illustrate the following. First one is a open curve. Open curve means it is a simple curve, but not is a not a closed curve. And the second one is also a simple curve, but which is a simple closed curve. So
so close it up what is that was it draw any polygon at the side of the area so draw any polygon at the side of the area means you can draw your, uh, draw the polygon for your way you can draw the square rectangle triangle pentagon hexagon any one so here you can draw some quadrilateral so this is a quadrilateral draw any polygon so this is a polygon or not so this quadrilateral is a polygon or not as this is a quadrilateral because This quadrilateral is a simple closed figure made up of only what is that line segment. What is a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed figure entirely made of line segment. So this quadrilateral is a simple closed figure. It is a polygon. Draw any polygon and the side is interior. We want to side this interior. You can draw any other polygon and the side is. So first one, and draw the octagon to illustrate the following. You can draw any open curve. Second one, you can draw the closed curve. So any sets, you can draw the closed curve. Third one, draw any polygon. You can draw any polygon. And the third one is what is the interior. 